the time has come, the walrus said. Sega Saturn, look at that. That might be the first and only time we've ever shown that logo on this channel. What? Well, okay, here's Sega again. And Traveler's Tales. Yeah, in their early days. Here we are, Sonic R. I'm sorry, I'm vibing with the music already. Already. Oh my god. Alright, let me start up a new save file here. This is Sonic R. This game's fascinating. It's, it really is fascinating to talk about, isn't it? And this is, as I mentioned, the first Sega Saturn game I'm playing on the channel. Uh, <laughs> let's just begin racing, huh? We got different modes. Time Attack, of course, it's a racing game. Two player, gotta love it. But we're focusing on the Grand Prix, which we can see there's a whole bunch of characters to unlock, including Eggman, who can, we can tell that's Eggman right there. We don't have any of those other characters unlocked, so we're gonna play as main man Sonic himself, of course, hell yeah. And we got four different maps we can choose here. Again, there's an unlockable one later on. But for now, let's just stick with Resort Island, the first one. And oh, the music. I'm so ready. You guys gotta understand, this game has maybe the best soundtrack on the Sega Saturn. Maybe one of the best soundtracks of this era of gaming. It's so good. And look at this, it's a racing game, and yet we're running around like a classic Sonic style in a 3D environment. We could double jump, which is super satisfying and fun. And the music. Oh. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel that sometimes you just need to run away? Oh, it's only good vibes. You gotta love it. We picked up there one of the five Sonic coins you can see in the bottom corner. One out of five there. There are five special hidden Sonic coins throughout the stage that you gotta look for. Oh, final lap. Oh god. I'm going massive shortcut here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting competitive. Drift, let's go. Alright, we got these, uh, these little go platforms here. They drain all the rings you've been collecting along the way to make you go further and further. So the more rings you have, the further you go. Oh, Knuckles got that win. Damn. Well played, Knuckles. The AI in this, like, every racing game around this era cheats. What do you expect? But I love the music, the vocal tracks. So this game, the composing in this game was done by one Richard Jock. Hey, shout out to Richard Jock. I like your name. Uh, and then uh, the vocals were sung by TJ Miller. And as you can hear, she does an amazing job with it. Uh, I want to play some of the other tracks to, just to get a good feel for it, even if I'm not winning an idiom. I'm kind of bad at this game. Like, I literally played it for the first time earlier to practice for this. But everyone knows this game for the music. I feel like a lot of people in the early internet days know this game as one of the worst Sonic games. People regarded this in, like, Sonic 06 levels and, and, and things like that. Which, if you're not in with the Sonic community, you have no idea what the hell that means. But still, basically... Uh, summary is people consider this one of the worst Sonic games, period. Which I feel like, yeah, the controls aren't perfect, and it's certainly a weird racing game. I mean, some of the map design is a little odd. Oh, the music here. In the city, you got to keep the dream alive. Oh, look at the moon out in the distance. Okay, I, I, I can't focus on my commentary with such good music. You know you got to survive. This is one of my favorite maps. I love the design of it because you get so many rings. I love the music. Oh. Lap two. All around. So many. Oh, I, I, I can't believe I didn't mention this, but yeah, characters actually have their in game abilities, so Tails here can actually fly. Look at that. And the fact that it's 3D moving around as the characters using their abilities, like Knuckles can hover, of course. Uh, Amy's in a car, which can boost. Eggman can shoot missiles out of his robotic machine there. It's pretty cool. You gotta give them credit for their creativity in making this game. I want to show these ring doors here. If you travel to these with enough rings, you can open them up. And these ones with 50 often have behind them, like this one here, that Chaos Emerald. So we picked up that Chaos Emerald, and now we need to beat the race and get first. So pressure's on. I honestly, Tails is my favorite character in this game. The characters have different speed stats, in addition to like different abilities, different turn stats, all that stuff. So I think, getting back to what I was talking about, people consider this one of the worst games in the early days of the internet. You know, back when, back when awfully misogynistic jokes were the law of the land. Um, 
yeah, different times, let me tell you. Uh, but in the early days of the internet, yeah, this game was widely disregarded. But I feel like today it's been reabsorbed in, in a new light, right? In love for the 90s classic era and this era of music. In love for this era of Sonic, which is very different. I mean, Amy having this hairstyle, this may be one of the last times she'd have this hairstyle, even. And boost! Let's go, Tails. That's the end of that. And we got first, and we got that Chaos Emerald. Let's go. Yeah, we got a Chaos Emerald. Every one of these stages, you can get one of the Chaos Emeralds uh, if you collect it and then make it to the end of the stage. I know that's kind of confusing, because um, a lot of people will just collect the Emerald and think they're good, but no, you have to also get first. That's not the case with the five Sonic Coins, which I should show off uh, what getting all five of those indicates. So actually, I want to go back to Resort Island here. We're going to try to get all five of the Sonic coins that are hidden throughout the stage. And you really do got to go out of your way to explore. You got to give the map designer some credit for having a lot of different areas and crevices and stuff. And also having weather effects if you play this game different times of the year. Or I believe there's a way to manually do it. Uh, there's different weather effects in the stages, like you can do a winter aesthetic. Back here in stage one, first thing we got to get is up top over here. I know this is becoming an impromptu guide part. Uh, second one... Behind the waterfall here, there's always a secret behind the waterfall in video games, right? There's another one back here. Oh god. Uh, I know I'm drifting all over the place. Tails drift is not great. I just, just, I guess it's to make up for his, you know, being able to fly, which is really nice. Oh, we can go through those. What the shit? Third one is in these islands off to the side. We've got out here. Oh, Tails. Oh god, maybe I should have picked Sonic. Okay. This door here with the 50 ring gate, I believe that's for the Chaos Emerald. But we're not going for the Chaos Emerald right now, we're going for the Sonic Coins. Some really talented players of this can get all of them at once. Like, 100% completion, one one try each. The fourth one is just on the left side of this fork. Like, you have this fork leading to the loop-de-loop -loop at the end, and it's just on the left side. Easy as that. Last one we've got to get is... Oh god! Eggman's attacking me. Uh, last one we've got to get is over here through this 20 ring gate. So sometimes there's 20 ring gates in addition to 50 ring gates. Oh, wait a minute. I came in the exit. What the fuck? All right, I went in the wrong way. But we got all five. I don't think we need to win the race to, to trigger the last thing. It's just, again, if you want to go for 100%, 100% completion, right, and, and get the Chaos Emerald as well, and you'd have to get 50 rings, open that door, get the Chaos Emerald, and then get first. I like that there's an extra bit of challenge with each map, because the fact that there are only five maps is admittedly pretty bare bones, and it deserves uh, being pointed out, right? I don't want to just look at this game with rose-tinted glasses. I can't just look at this game and be like, oh, the music and the creativity and, and such and such. There's downsides, of course. Uh, I, I will always prefer Mario Kart 64 in this era. I love that racing game. All right, making it to the end, you can see we're now up against Metal Sonic. So this is just a one-on-one -on -one race, us and Metal, and that's it. Metal Sonic, this is the asshole who took over my channel two years ago. You know what, we're gonna use some shortcuts on him so we can hop over to this island, sneak all the way around, look at that. We're not going for coins or emeralds or anything in this time, it's just a flat-out race. So we gotta beat this man. I'm gonna go basically in a big circle and go through these wooded tree bits here. There we go, and we can go past the loop. Job, Tails. Let's go. Oh, why didn't I activate flight? What the fuck? Hold on, get in the island. Fly! Let's go! Yeah! Alright, we're winning. But not by much. Let's go. Alright, we're through. Oh, I'm going through the loop. Alright, that's gonna slow me down quite a bit. Uh, go through here. Alright, let's go. Yeah! Oh, he's catching up though. Yeah, AI and this definitely rubber bands. Like, every racing game of this time. Oh. Oh god, how did he get there? What the fuck? Oh god! Oh, he caught up quick! Man's got a head fast. Holy shit. Uh, let me try that again. Let me get back in there. I'm gonna go with Sonic this time. I will say, while you're going for these medals, you, you can dawdle to try and, like, turn around and get them. But you can't dawdle too much, because if all of the other racers finish, then it just automatically ends. So you can't be in, like... The dead of last and way, way behind, right? You gotta, you gotta keep up somewhat, right? It is a, a racing game, I suppose. All right, off we go and look at this man speed off. Uh, we gotta, we gotta use the island hopping. It's just Sonic has got to use the double jump again. Ice, ice would really be nice. Oh God, he's like right fucking here. You asshole! I'm just swimming. I'm just swimming now. This isn't great. But if we completely go around the corner, maybe it'll work out. Mm. We were beating him at this point with Tails. That's concerning.
I'm gonna keep trying, and I'm gonna keep trying specifically on him. Not only because this is the only stage where I know where all the coins are at, but also because he's an asshole. I'll never forgive this robot fuck. He keeps coming to me like, hey, yo, let's squash the beef, bro. And I'm like, nah. The only thing I'm squashing is yo ass. What? There we go. That should be the win right there. Ooh, let's go. Look at Metal Sonic all disappointed. Get out of here, you robot fuck. So now he's actually a playable character if we want to choose him in any of the maps, which... You know what? I'll squash the beef. Full circle. Remember, two years ago, this man took the channel over and deleted most everything on it. But you know what? Now, let's play as him. This is the first time I've done this on the channel? He was playable in Sonic Drift. I don't think I picked him. I don't think I would have, did I? I can't remember. Even though literally Sonic Drift 2 was earlier this year. But yeah, we got all these different maps here. There's all sorts of great music and, and such in all these stages. What the hell is his deal? He just got a really high jump. Interesting. Oh, this is a good music track too. Is this, um... Work it out, work it out. I think it is. Whee! Oh, damn. Our own creator is passing us by. Work it out, think about it. This is my little Sonic art video I wanted to make, because the soundtrack is classic. This is a really interesting representation of Sonic in this era. This is, like, also Sonic the Fighters, which is an arcade game. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about that one day. But an interesting era of Sonic in an otherwise very absent era for the Blue Blur. Obviously, there was no main series Sonic game in the Sega Saturn. They intended to make one, they just never got around to it. I, I guess, that, no, now that I think about it, a lot of franchises kind of had a soft retirement in this era. You look at Metroid, they didn't have a 3D entry in this era. You look at Punch-Out, for example, which I never even played the Super Nintendo game. I'll go, I'll alleviate that at some point. We'll have Super Punch-Out on the channel. The 3D era of gaming was very different, and how Sonic approached it was very different as well, of course, as you can tell <laughs> just from this game. But it's worth looking back on exactly what they were doing. Uh, most of you playing this game will have known it from collections like on the GameCube or, or other consoles. But that's that. That's my little video on it. I hope you enjoyed. You know, I've been using this on the channel for a while, like 2019, I want to say. But if you recall, way back in the day, I was using a Logitech controller with a really shitty D-pad. I'm thankful it wasn't that. I don't know why this is the note I said to end this video on, but I hope you enjoyed. And have yourself a very good day. Take care.